So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create construction types in IES. And we're going to be using the Building Template Manager um, menu for that. So it's this button up here, Building Template Manager. So we've got different templates that are available to us, and we're going to look at the construction types first of all. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new template and we're going to maybe change some of the options we've got here with the construction types. So if we want to make a new template, we come down here to Add Template button. And you can see that it copies whatever template you had originally highlighted just a few seconds ago. So don't worry about that, we can change the name of it. So if you click on the new one, um, you can double click on it actually and change the name. So we're just going to call this New Construction template and press enter and what we're going to do then is we're going to make some changes to what the construction type is within that so when it's highlighted here in yellow come down to Apache construction database and what we'll do is we'll just have a look at maybe changing one or two things on this so the construction types are split into two different categories opaque constructions which are things you can't see through so solid objects like walls ceilings uh, floors doors that type of stuff and glazed constructions which is going to be your roof lights and your internal and external windows so we'll just go back to opaque and what we'll do is we'll select external walls over here and right now you can see that we've got five different versions of an external wall so if I click on the standard one here, uh, double click on it, you get to see the makeup of that construction. So we've got an outer leaf of brick, we've got some insulation slab, we've got a concrete block, and we've got some gypsum plaster. So that's a reasonably standard uh, type of wall construction, and you can see a U value for it up here, uh, 0.3487. So what I'll do is I will make a copy of that wall construction type and then make some changes to it. So I'm just going to come out of that for a second. And we'll go to Add Default Construction, this button up here. So what we're doing now is we're creating a new type of wall. So we'll click on that button there. And we now have this one appearing on our screen down here. It's generic wall, and it's just called External Wall. So double click on it. And you can see that it's made up of just a single leaf of brickwork and it's got quite a high u value 2.2 would be very high for a wall so first thing we we'll do we'll change the name of it and we'll call it new external wall type and then we'll make some uh, changes to the material so we've got a 220 mil thick brick on the outer leaf what i want to do is add a couple more layers to this so we come down here to add so what you need to do is um, highlight the layer go copy and then go paste okay so uh, if you come down to the add button here so I, I need to click on that and go copy and then go add and I can see an extra leaf coming up here and if I want to put in another layer I click add again now it doesn't matter that all three of these layers are brickwork at the moment because I can change the properties of them in a few minutes so what you do essentially is you make up the layers that you need first of all the number of layers that you need so we'll leave brickwork outer leaf this is working from outside to inside so we'll leave the brickwork in the outer leaf as it is that's fine the next layer I might want to put in might be something like a cavity so what I do is I select the uh, layer the top layer and come down to the cavity button and click and it will place a cavity below the layer that I had selected and we'll make our cavity we'll say 100 mil wide so you double click in here and type in 0 0.1 now next thing is I want to put in uh, we'll say some insulation so I've got brickwork outer leaf as the name of my layer but that's not what I want what I want to do is change that material so I come over here to system materials and I'm looking for insulating materials from the drop down menu so I click on here now it doesn't really matter for right now which one I'm going to pick I'll just pick the first one on the list there, the EPS slab so you highlight which one you need do a right click and go copy material and then close that down and then in here you go paste and it pastes that copied material onto the layer 
that you had highlighted a few minutes ago. So we'll change the thickness of that now as well. And I suppose that could be uh, about, let's say, 70 mil in thickness. And then we'll change the inner leaf to something like um, a concrete block, we'll say. OK, so we need to just come over here and go to System Materials. And we'll look for um, Concretes. And instead of a cast concrete, we'll look for a medium weight concrete block. So you select the type of material you want with a left click, then do a right click and go copy. Close that window down and then go to paste. And it pastes that material on top of the layer that you had selected. So we'll change the thicknesses here. Now just watch what's happening to the U value. We've got 0.32 there at the moment. The thickness of the outer leaf will be 0 0.1 and the thickness of the inner leaf would be 0 0.1 and you can see our u-value is updating every time we change the thickness our u-value is updating so what we've got here now is we've got a 100 mil brick a 100 mil cavity a 70 mil insulation slab and a 100 mil concrete block okay so we've got these different layers making up this wall which we've called new external wall type so once you've done that just go ok and close would you like to save changes yes so now, within the new construction template that we've made, we have different options here for the different types of fabric. And if I click on external wall, right now it's taking up the heavyweight external wall, which is the wall type. But now we've got, at the very bottom of our list, new external wall type, which is the one we just created in the last few moments. Click on that. And now it means that if I draw a room using the new construction template as my basis for it, then the external wall will be that type. So really what you're doing here is you're saying, I'm going to build a model of a room and I want to use such and such a template for it. Heavyweight, lightweight, default or new construction. Whichever template you use when you go to draw that room, these are the construction types that will be used based on that template. So if I click back on heavyweight here now for a second, watch what happens to external wall. If I click back here on heavyweight, it goes back to the heavyweight external wall. If I click on lightweight, I've set it up to use lightweight construction. If I go to new template, it still is pretty much the heavyweight one, but it is now using the external wall type, which we created a few moments ago. So if I save that, and close it down. The next time I go to draw a room, so let's just say I need to go back in here to model it. The next time I go to draw a room, just a straightforward pr prism room, I'll just call it shed. Uh, the room type is room and this is the important bit here, room templates. Okay, Click on room templates and it's asked me what construction do I want to use? Well right now if I draw it it will be on the heavyweight template but if I click on that I've got a drop down menu and there's the new one that we created a few minutes ago, new construction template. So if I select that now with a left click, well then when I draw in here, that little room is now going to be, that's going to be a very small room, let's have a look at it here now. That little room now has been built in the model using the new construction template. So the templates really work properly when you make the template up before you start making the geometry of the model up. If you've already got the geometry there, in other words, these buildings are already drawn and you want to later on apply construction types to them, it can be done. I'm going to cover that in a separate video, but it's not as easy as setting the templates first before you start drawing. You can see what happened there. As I started drawing this new little room in here, I, I told the computer to use a particular template. So it's a quicker way to do it if you set the templates up first. OK, this, this is going to be a series of videos, so make sure that you see the ones that are linked below uh, in the comment section, just to make sure you can follow the, the sequence of them.